with Marvin, our MPP, has been very good to us in coming every year and um, taking our message to the person that needs to make a decision. Right. So on behalf of the entire Columbia Forest family, you have got 251 signed wow. postcards. Five years of liberal inaction has seriously restricted Ontario's ability to meet the demands of our aging population. During the 2003 election, Dalton McGinty promised to provide each nursing home resident with an additional $6,000 in personal care. Regretfully, the Premier has broken his promise to seniors. It has now been six years and the government has never fulfilled their 2003 election promise. All that we're asking for on behalf of Ontario seniors is for the Premier to live up to the promise that he made six years ago. The aging population in Ontario is very great and our parents as well as our, our, our um, grandparents which are the baby boomers, um, they need a lot. Um, their in needs are increasing and, and every day we see more people with um, uh, assistance with feeding and assistance with, with just everyday care. I've, I've been in long-term care for 27 years and the complexity of care has just increased astronomically. When I first started you didn't even have people with catheters and now you have people with catheters, feeding tubes, dialysis uh, and the expectations are much higher. When it comes to the amount of care we give to nursing home residents, Ontario is below the national average. We fund significantly less care for residents than they do in Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba and New Brunswick. And as time lapses, Ontario will fall further behind other jurisdictions. So if you have two people for a uh, well, I'll say 14 people. If one's caught with a bath and the other's caught in the washroom with a patient, I mean, you can't leave one to meet another need. So, I mean, I, th I think there really has to be addressed a way of providing more staffing. I really think it's just simply the cost of people living longer and the questionable benefits of what you can do to make that life wonderful. Last fall, I launched a petition calling on the McGinty government to enhance long-term care. Through the petition, thousands of Ontarians expressed their desire for the government to boost personal nursing home care. The need is a lot greater than it appears. Open up your eyes and see that that it's all around us. Um, we have a we have a very big aging population, and, and we need more money to to accommodate these people. I think the government could do better. When we need somebody, they should be there fairly instantly. You can't wait. Sometimes, in February of this year, the Ontario Long-Term Care Association launched a province-wide postcard campaign. To date, MPPs have received some 35,000 signed postcards from concerned long-term care residents, their families, friends, and staff. Nursing homes and residents across the province are urging the McGuinty government to take action. Seniors across Ontario hope Mr. McGinty will not forget seniors. Thank you for the cards and uh, you know that I'm always available to you and if any of you ever have need of assistance, uh, we're, we're here. We're going to be giving these cards to the Premier and we want to make sure that uh, we will stand up, we will bring your voice and raise our voices with others to make sure that the funding flows, that you can have more care. Thank you. I would like politicians to come out to these homes and actually meet the people and hear where our message is coming from.